tens of thousands of demonstrators take over Rome in protest against male violence towards women. Here's a summary of the article. Tens of thousands of women have taken to the streets of Europe to protest against male violence against women. The marches were planned to commemorate the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, which occurred on Thursday. The day is celebrated on November 25th each year after it was first made official by the United Nations in 1999. In Munich, Germany, signs declared, a woman's place is in the revolution, while another said, stop violence against women. Some 736 million women worldwide, almost one in three, have been subjected to intimate partner violence, non-partner sexual violence, or both at least once in their life, according to statistics from the UN. It came as hundreds of women also filled the streets of London Saturday, also in protest against rape and male violence against women. Annalise Dodds, Shadow Secretary of State for Women and Equalities, joined the protesters, as she urged them to shut down the Capitol in a rousing speech via a megaphone. The event has taken on a new meaning this year following a spate of attacks on women after dark. Women marching on Saturday night held up signs reading, When will I be able to walk myself home? This post received a score of 4,500, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Wow. Been a while since I heard about a protest for something that wasn't anti-vax. Feels nostalgic. Yes, reading the first three words of the title I just wanted to stop, but was pleasantly surprised. Respecta la donna. Who are they targeting with the protests? Hopefully it's the lawmakers to make much harsher punishments for violent crimes. Because protests targeted toward to sociopathic pieces of shit that abuse their partners probably isnt going to do much. I doubt someone who is a big enough pos to beat his partner is going to see a protest and stop, they don't stop. The only hope is to enact swift and very harsh punishments for anyone with propensities for violence. The mistake is believing that people are black and white, rather than that violence is normalized. Cultural movements and pressure is just as important to change, because it signals to people who think it is normal, that there may be harsher consequences for their actions than before and it may challenge them to denormalize it. People abuse because they see others abuse or experience abuse themselves, it's all a domino effect. Violence is contagious, and so is peace. What sort of laws could be passed to specifically prevent male violence against females? I've seen some posts stating that these sort of demonstrations are useful in order to capture the attention of the lawmakers, but it's hard for me to imagine what the lawmakers, politicians can actually do about it, other than grandstand and declare their allegiance to the cause. The other problem is that after you pass the laws, they need to actually be enforced. Excellent black heart, keep up the good fight. They're against that. We need this a lot more in the Middle East. Good. Hopefully it'll ignite the fire all over the globe. Wonderful. I mean I don't like its Daily Mail, but they have at least closed comments on this article, as far as I could see. Go girls. I didn't know Daily Mail had a comment section. I'm glad they didn't have one for this article one don't really want to see what the readership of that newspaper, site has to say about it. It's funny how the male commenters criticize the holding of such events and justify their position with caution over COVID. Had it been their gender that suffered like this the streets would be full of protesting men pandemic be damned. I think it's fairer to say that some men simply are hostile to the idea of women voicing opinions and protesting their rights. They don't really care about the pandemic that much. When in doubt always think about what people actually are saying, where their true motivation for saying things lie. Is their problem really just COVID or rather women making their voice heard face with raised eyebrow? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.